it is true that one of the reasons why people hear dancehall as noise is that the rhythms are so fast and sometimes it's very difficult to catch the words. And I have to confess that as an old person, sometimes I don't catch the words. I have to ask my little young friends what they're really saying. And once I can hear the words and I understand, but because of the speed of the delivery, you, you sometimes don't catch the meanings. And I think it's important for us to listen to this music because it's the music of young people. And if we as adults don't listen to young people, then we're not going to be in touch with what they need, what their values are. That's why I invited Vibes Cartel to come to speak at the University of the West Indies last year because I teach a course at the university called Reggae Poetry. And one of the assignments I give, I mean, I have the set people that we study, people like Burning Spear, Jimmy Cliff, Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, Steel Pulse, Buju Banton, and Tanya Stevens. Those are the ones I um, focus on in the course. But the first assignment I give the students is to pick any dancehall, reggae, songwriter, and come and make a presentation on the literary qualities of their work because I want the students to feel that it's their course. To, I'm not just going to tell them we are studying these people. I want to hear what they're interested in. And every year, I have several people who choose Vibes Cartel as a person to come and talk about. And I decided to invite him to come to the university, and it was incredible. Over 5,000 people came. I opened it up to the public because I know how popular he is, and he gave a very interesting talk on his whole development. And one of the things that struck me is that he said he got expelled from one of the premier high schools, Calabar because he was always sculling school, as we say in Jamaica. I don't know if you use that expression here in Belize, but he was always missing school to go to the studio. And I kept thinking, you know, what if at Calabar there had been a music program that included a studio? What if going to studio had been on the curriculum? Would Cartel not have had the opportunity to be in the studio and also at school at the same time? So he's very bright even without having gone you know, very far. High school, more or less finished high school. And when, why, why isn't Cartel in university? And I believe it's because the school system has not recognized the value of popular music as a means of reaching out to young people.